my name is Katrina, and I'm a senior at Omaha Central. Oh, school! And I would also like to issue the same trigger warning. Um, and this poem is titled, Dear Inmate. Dear Inmate 88253, I am calling you that because you don't deserve the satisfaction of hearing me say your name. What you did to me shattered the way in which I viewed the world. And now every time I walk down the street, I am terrified about what might happen to me. And every time I hear your name, see your face, or have any kind of memory from those horrid nights, my mind and body get tense. That kind of tense that floats up your spine, pushing your shoulders so close to your ears. And I don't know how many bottles of soap that I have gone through, scrubbing off these layers of skin, just trying to get rid of you. And, and I know that spending this much time in the shower, rubbing my skin raw, is unacceptable. And I miss how it was before, playing with toy cars on the rug with the little roads, when wrestling wasn't defined as a game of tug of war with my clothes. And when you sneaking into my room in the middle of the night was actually OK, when we would try and come up with a plan to sneak out into the kitchen and raid the Halloween candy without waking up mom or dad. And I miss when we would manage to play hide and seek in an 800 square foot house that never should have worked in the first place. But the thing that I hate most about all of this is all of the memories just like those that we made that somehow make me miss you being around, making it impossible for me to hate you but still hate you in the very same moment. And I remember you asking me one day just how I got so cold the answer is I got tired of fighting. It was better to shut out the world around me than to continuously be brutalized by your words and your actions. And you thought that I was asking for it. But what about all of the kicking and the screaming and the yelling for you to get off of me? Did that mean yes in your twisted mind? Because I am pretty sure that no means no. And as I'm putting these words onto paper, I am realizing that you are not worth my words, my time, or any feeling that I may have towards you. Because what kind of worth is there in a rapist? My rapist. Uh -huh. It only took me 10 years to be able to call you that, as if I owned you. But in reality, it is you who thought that you owned me. And I learned in anatomy class that every seven years, every cell in your body is replaced. And I am in the process of shedding every cell that you have ever touched. And in five years, my skin will finally become mine again. Mm -hmm. And even with all that said, I still want to know why. Why did you decide to strip me down to my bones, taking with you every last piece of my dignity, my sanity, and my security? And I'm only just now recovering those things that were once mine. I was supposed to be someone that you cared for. I looked up to you. Even when you got into trouble, you were the one that I went to for everything. But maybe if I tell you why I wrote this, then maybe you can tell me why this was more important to you than having a life of your own. I wrote this to remind you to remind you of how strong I have become in spite of you. Woo!